Yeah, you can do it next time. No, no shut up. Yeah, try one okay. I feel like we should Ooh. have some sort of palate cleanser in between these. I can go in 7-Eleven and get some beer. Or you get a Diet Coke like you usually do. I can do that too. Okay, palate cleanser. Oh, palate cleanser. It's actually happening. Wait, where are you going? Okay, so as the intermission to our fiesta of imported goods, uh, 7-Eleven has this uh, Spike Shooter, lightly carbonated, served chilled. It's the original, just so you know. Um, I've never actually seen this, and I have a feeling if I wait a few months, I can pick this up at the 99 cent store, but I'm dumb, so I paid $2.50. It says, warning, never exceed one can daily. Read entire label before drinking. And the reason is, is that one can contains 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is a huge amount for a, an energy bowl type of energy drink. Energy bowl. Did I say energy bowl? Yes, you did. I had coffee already, so it's starting to kick in. So, of course, I'm going to have some more caffeine, and I'll talk even faster. She got right How ball. much caffeine does my energy bowl have? <laughs> 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 I don't see you know, it. It's not listed. See, a lot of them won't do that. So if you go on energyfiend.com, you can look up your energy drink and it'll tell you. I'm not going to do that right oh, now. Oh, uh, 80 milligrams. Yeah. Per serving or per can? Is one can a serving? Yes. No one cares about this. Anyways, it's uh, pink apparently. Hmm. Okay, so. Smells kind of fruity and like gasoline. Fruity and gasoline? Excellent. Hmm, that has a very pleasant fruit flavor to it that rapidly goes away and leaves you with a horrible saccharine aftertaste, which is, it has zero calories, which that probably explains it, but the first impression on the tongue is uh, very bright and fruity and pleasant, and then it rapidly goes away, and you're left with like, bleh. that's why you gotta drink it fast. Effort. Delicious. <clears throat> Tasting pomegranate too. Huh. <laughs> right? Welcome to America. <laughs> Next, on that note, should we move on to savories? I don't know what a savory is. As opposed to sweet? Like, like suet? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I think we should go to Savory. Bluebird burger rings. Oh. With the heck yeah. Full on burger flavor. I love full on. And that freaking penguin on the front is rocking. Penguins and burgers. Don't let the munchies get the better of you. Heck yes. Take one bite of these tasty snacks and let the full-on burger flavor take over. I want to party with that thing. <laughs> He's like, F yeah, take that ring. I'm going to eat you. Hmm. I'm not smelling burger. It smells more like detergent. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Funyun, and then right before the aftertaste hits, you get a split second of, hey, I'm a burger. I, I taste like hamburger meat, and then it goes away like really quick. You have to really pay attention until I pull it out. So it's like subtle? If you pair that with the, the corny ring, you can kind of get like the bun and maybe a little bit of the hamburger. But then the, the tangy Funyun kicks in at the end and like 
kills it. So, I mean, it's not unenjoyable, but it's a little confused. I guess the onion flavor kind of goes with it, because you can have onions on your burger. Yeah. That's, that's, that's... Gets like a B plus, because I'm a Funyun fan. Hmm. I'm also a fan of the Funyuns. It's funny how this is the first uh, letter rating you've given all yeah. all day, so it kind of throws everything else off, but that's, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to, apologize for the condition of the box. It was in my checked luggage. Mm. Sweet chili and sour cream. Should I leave you alone with the box? <laughs> <laughs> that's like second date stuff. You just did to that box right now. Um, yes. Sweet chili is a very popular flavor in New Zealand. Um, sweet chili sauce is probably number two condiment that they use there. I hate sweet chili. And it's, it's actually meant to be like Thai, almost Thai sweet yeah, chili. Yeah, that's but, a big deal. So you got the sour cream coolant, possibly. We'll see how we go. I don't like sweet with my chili. I just like raw burning. Raw now burning. these are rice snacks. I should point out that um, I'm able to eat these because they're gluten free. Ew. So I did like... get quite an assortment of different types Ooh, of... They look like ruffles. Ew, why is it like all shiny on the top? Like it's got some sort of like, ugh. You don't like shiny? Oh, this is, oh, this is like those uh, Japanese rice snacks that I absolutely hate. Oh my gosh. And the sweet chili is not working for me. Oh, I don't, oh. I'm not even, I can't even, there you go. Wow, you didn't go back? No. I have to. I'm actually very familiar with that flavor and I hate it. Well, thanks for being a good sport and trying it anyway. Oh. I guess uh, taking you home. Oh. You know what? Not bad. Oh. Do you want another one? I'll take another one. That's, that's just a personal thing. I'm going to chop that up too. I ate a whole bag of Japanese rice snacks one time and I got sick and I've never been able to eat them again. That's mm. a curse. Once again, another... Uh, Now these ones I've never had, so. Spare ribs. Spare ribs. What? Awesome. Is that different from regular ribs? No, it's what they call pork ribs there. Oh. Uh, they, don't, they don't really do baby backs. I think you have to go to like some extreme posh butcher to find baby back ribs there. Mm. Hmm. Do you know what posh means? Yes. Okay. It's did like your, Did your England followers tell you that? It's like bougie. 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 I was thinking more like fancy, but... Hmm. Bougie. Okay. Bougie and expensive. Here we're not, here we're not bougie, we're bougetto. <laughs> oh, you knew that when Susie threw uh, that can out the window. <laughs> Still a thousand dollar fine for littering. I don't see any cops. It's not illegal to do it, it's illegal to get caught. Right away, I'm confused. So you're gonna love this. All the shapes are confusing me. Oh my gosh, that's freaking awesome! It does smell like meat. It's Holy it actually jeez! Does. Oh, it's like uh, Chris and Pitts exploded in a bag. That's freaking awesome. I'm taking a handful. Oh, please don't let me down. Okay, the crackers oh. are a little subpar. That tone says it all. The crackers are a little subpar, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and the flavor doesn't go much beyond the smell, but that first impression is just so awesome. I have to give these a recommend or at least a try. Oh man. Have you tried them yet? I can't. Oh, you can't? Mm -mm. Mm. I really want to though because well, you know me and ribs. Oh, yes, of course. That's, yeah. I've got quite the love affair with them. That's okay. Ribs. The smell is definitely the best part. Beyond that, it's all downhill. But I could easily see myself just eating these yeah. endlessly, though. Endlessly? 
Mm-hmm. Until you explode and die. Well, you know, if there was a bowl of them, I'd probably just continue eating them. Probably baked in New Zealand. Now, I wonder if there's any, like, why are there different shapes? Is what I want to know. What so, is? I like so, the variety. It's so you it's can teach nice. your children. Triangle. And they go, <laughs> triangle. And you go, I don't know. And you go, what's this shape? And then they go, square. And you go, no. <laughs> I'm a little sad because the picture makes it look like there's actual pieces of meat baked into them, which I'm pretty sure that's not. true. It does. It's not the case. It looks like little pieces of bacon in there. Oh, no. oh man, that would have been like a 10 out of 10 if they baked little bits of chewy bacon into them. Oh my god, man! If anywhere, if anywhere was gonna have bacon flavored anything, I'm pretty sure it would be America, right? I would think bacon like, flavored bacon. The L.A. hot dog is wrapped in bacon, just so mm -hmm. Yes, this is true. Is that at the hot dog shop? I don't know what the hot dog shop is. They have a hot dog shop? What? 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 Hot dog oh. shop. Okay, I'll show you that on the way home. It's like pretty much across the street from my dad's house. And hot apparently they have shop. the coldest beer in town. Interesting. Why is it every place has the coldest beer in town? Must be a very small town. <laughs> okay, this, this is the one I'm excited about to see what you think. Um, this is the last. Sunday roast flavored mm. chips. And yeah. that freaking awesome penguin is back. Yeah. I love that fool. <laughs> He's always ready for a good time. Look at him. He's like, F yeah. <laughs> now they show chicken here. I know, yeah. I didn't notice that. But I'm going to have to debate that because I'm just not sure. Kiwis love chicken, but I'm not sure that most people, when they have a Sunday roast, I don't think they do chicken i think it's mainly like lamb so well i do anyway but hmm i yeah so i'm gonna it's supposed to be the crispy bits left in the pan oh, oh that sounds it's like awesome when everybody you know like you finish dinner yeah and you go and you just pick a little bits the out only thing, the only thing better than that is the scrapings off the bottom of the pizza box <laughs> little bits of cheese. Mm -hmm. I like putting like bread in the pan with the crispy bits and then like mm -hmm, it up. Yes. Yeah. or grilling it and then yeah. eventually I'm like oh this would have been a really awesome grilled cheese sandwich but then it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. Um so this guy he's the winner. He's the guy that came up with the flavor. Mm. They had a contest in New Zealand. And they're like, your flavor wins. He's yep. like, validation for life. Yeah. So anyway, that's that one. I hope they're not all crushed. That's a very large bag for a very small amount of chips. I just want to say that. That's to keep them from being, you know, broken. Mm -hmm. It's the air cushion. Hmm. Smells kind of like um, sprouts for some reason to me. The grocery store, which smells like milfs, <laughs> so I hear. Interesting. And milfs smell like Victoria's Secret. I'm gonna have to go back here. <gasps> yes. Yes, I definitely, there's a turkey gravy component to this that turkey Ooh, gravy. Turkey gravy. I'm 100% picking up on. Hmm. It sort of like wafts up from the back of your palate. That could work a little to pick it up, but, oh man. I'm picturing like mashed potatoes in my mind. Oh, wow. Like really overdone chicken or turkey. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Have some more of that. Good. I'm glad we ended with that one. Oh. <laughs> oh man. You missed that. I know that was that was oh, quite a good. mouthful. So I could force you to eat like a loaf of bread and then watch you throw it up later. <laughs> Is that some sort of like? That's a that's like a special <laughs> subscriber like bonus. <laughs> <laughs>
indecent proposal. <laughs> like, we finally found a way to monetize Rudy Eats. <laughs> if you All really right. get into that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I have to say that I think I would really like it in New Zealand based off of their love of meat and putting meat into everything. Meat. Meat's awesome. I love meat. Meat. So. Good. And yet no Vegemite. No, you know what? Vegemite is Australian, Marmite is Kiwi, and there's a shortage in New Zealand right now. Hmm. They called it Marmageddon. Oh! That's awesome. Yeah, it's all true. Were people like sloshing around through knee deep oh, puddles you know. of blood because of the. <laughs> no, they, they started selling jars of the stuff on um, Trade Me, which is the New Zealand version of like eBay, um, for like, you know, way more than what they're worth at the grocery store. So, apparently it's coming back, though. I think it's all a marketing ploy. Thank you. It's a conspiracy. Well, thank you for joining us on this uh, very special edition of Rudy Eats. The, the Haven uh, New Zealand edition. <laughs> and that pretty much says it all. Compliments to the chef. See you next time.